Hi, this is Biraj. I'm the founder of Timechart Project Management Software. Uh, today, let us look into this topic, uh, forward pass and backward pass, and how do we calculate uh, slack or free float uh, in order to find the optimal uh, network in our diagram. Uh, we have got this uh, concept of early start, latest start, early finish, and latest finish, what this actually means. Early start is something that you must start early, uh, which is as defined as per the duration of the, of the project. So we define the early start and latest start is something that you can delay uh, to some extent based on availability of slack. So that means you have some spare time to uh, delay this latest start. So, and then uh, we come up with early finish. Again, early finish is defined by the duration of the project and how do we arrive at early finish. Let's look into this example. And then we also do the backward pass to come with the latest finish. So the forward pass means you're going from left to right to the destination of the project or the end result of the project. Uh, and then we do back, backward calculations to come up with a late finish, uh, late start and late finish, and early start and early finish is from a forward uh, calculations. So when we do forward pass, so early start, so that means A can start on zero day, uh, and then we have a duration of five here for uh, to complete A. So that means early finish is going to be zero plus five is going to be five. So now when B can start. So B early start is going to be five days once A is completed. So that means B will start on the fifth day. And then uh, the duration of B is seven, seven plus five, which comes to 12. So early finish for B is going to be 12 days. Now we have got 12 days for D. The uh, early start is going to be 12 days and then 12 and 10 that makes it 22 days as the early finish for D and likewise for G which is going to be 22 plus 6 is 28 for G. Now let's check the other before we go in, in the final destinations. So again we have got uh, 5 days for A which is going to be early start for C and then that means 9 for E, 9 for F and this will become 12. Now we have got 12 days from, uh, from E and we know this is 22 days so the earliest G can start only when uh, D is completed so it's 22 days. So now when we look at H we see that earliest H can start which is going to take the longest of both uh, G and F which is going to be 28 days and 14 the longest is going to be 28 so we come with the early start of 28 days for H and then 28 plus 4 is 32. So we came up with our numbers of early start and early finish by doing forward pass. Now let's do backward pass. So backward pass we wanted to we want to go like this now. to find latest finish and latest start. So now if you do backward pass, the longest is 32. So now latest finish is 32. 32 uh, minus 4 is 28 again, which is latest start. Now what will be F? So we have got 28 days here. And we also need to carry forward 28 days here. So 28 minus 6 becomes 22. Now we have got 28 days here. 28 uh, minus 5 is going to be 23, which is late start. So that means early start is 9 days, but we can delay F by uh, up to 23 days uh, to start this project. Uh, now if we again go back here, let's calculate back from here, so 22 here 
and 22 here. So 22 minus 10 is going to be 12 again. And this one, 22 minus 3 is going to be 19. So we need to bring the highest of both. So 23, we need to bring the lowest of the both. So 19 minus 4 is going to be 15. And now if you see 12, we bring it here. 12 minus 7 is 5. Now, what do we bring here? We need to bring the lowest of both. So now we have got lowest of both is 5. And 5 and 5 is 0. So what we see here is by doing the forward pass, we are calculating early start and early finish. And by doing the backward pass, we are doing late finish and late start. Now, once we have this number, we can easily find out our critical path. So one of the uh, one of the way to find the critical path is the slack or the free float in an activity. So free float is nothing but which is early start minus late start. So whenever early start minus late start is zero, so that means that particular will fall in the critical path. So now we have an early start of five, late start of five. So this is also zero. 12 and 12, this is also 0, 22, this is also 0, and this is also 0. So our critical path is going to be 0. this particular network. Now why we don't have critical path here? Because we have got plenty of days to complete this task. As we can see, we have got uh, a free float of 23 minus 9, so which is about 14 days free float in this. So we can delay this task by 14 days. It will still not hamper our project. So I hope I made it clear with the uh, forward pass and backward pass and how do we come up with our critical path number. And if you would like to explore more on project management, visit our website timechart.com or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.